Do you ever wonder why women do a hot oil treatment in their hair? Well, today we're going to do a hot oil treatment in my beard. And I'm going to tell you the results. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And we're going to do it right after this. All right, so we all see our wives, our sisters, our moms growing up. Uh, we see it around the internet, salons. They're talking about this hot oil treatment. And so I did some research. I've been testing it out myself. And I want to go with you guys and show you what a hot oil treatment can do for your beard. So I'm going to start this off by say, telling you what you need. So first, you're going to need a bowl. I chose... A pot and you're just gonna fill it up with hot water basically as hot as you can get um, you're gonna be taking your bottle of oil and for today's experiment I'm using wild dog shaddock tree and the reason I'm using this is it has aloe vera in it and I feel like aloe vera is gonna be beneficial on my skin and my beard hair put a little bit in a empty bottle and you're just gonna take that and you're gonna set it in the hot water for a few minutes. So let's just say I filled this up right now and I put the oil in it, I hit the film button, and now I'm gonna go wash my beard. So I'm gonna use a pine tar soap, I'm gonna use something really stripping to get everything uh, cleaned out of my beard, get the oils washed off my beard, and get it kind of reset uh, all the unnatural stuff out of it. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm fresh out the shower. Uh, well, the sink, I washed my beard, I used some pine tar soap, and as you can see, it's all wet. I used hot water, and what the hot water does is it opens up your pores. It opens up your, your volicles, so when we put the oil in and we do the hot oil treatment, uh, it's gonna get in there, and it's gonna moisturize our skin, it's gonna sit on there, it's gonna coat the hairs, get in the hair volicles, and be able to provide us with uh, silkier, smoother, shinier, uh, healthier hair. So, like I said, we have the oil in the hot water. The next thing you're gonna need is a couple just standard washcloths. I got Aubrey's, I got one of mine, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, uh, I'm gonna start with the bigger one, this one's a little bit bigger. And so, just a standard washcloth. I'm gonna put it in this bowl of hot water here. And I'm just gonna let it sit there. I'm gonna throw the other washcloth in this bowl as well, let it soak up that warm water, and then I'm gonna pull my oil out. So here I have a bottle of oil that's been sitting in this warm water. And I'm going to grab probably two dropperfuls. You're going to use a little bit more oil in this. So I'm going to grab two dropperfuls here. I'm going to mix it around and I'm going to rub it all up in my beard. Make sure to get down to that skin. Rub it around in the mustache. Rub it around on the cheeks, up the sideburns. And you're going to feel pretty oily. You're going to get a nice aroma. If you use a scented oil, that heat brings out that aroma a little bit. So you're going to get a nice aroma with it. And just kind of rub it in. Massage it in for, I don't know, just till you feel like it's good and in there. Maybe 30 seconds we're going to massage it in. And then what we're going to do is twist the lid back on so you don't accidentally spill it. This is good stuff. Put it back in the water to keep it warm. I don't know why I do that, I just like to do that. And then we're gonna pull out our first washcloth. So as we pull it out, be careful not to make a huge water mess. Unless you're gonna clean it up, then go for it. So I kinda wring that out a little bit, and then we're just gonna fold it in half. And what I'm gonna do, and this might be kinda hard to get on camera, but what you wanna do is you wanna coat your whole beard with this towel. And this is a warm water towel, so it's going to uh, push up in the hairs, kinda of let those pores open up and the oil sink in to the pores and keep my hair nice and moisturized and wet. So I'm gonna put this on. Generally, you keep it on for about 10 minutes uh, would be sufficient. And I'm gonna do this, I, I have two, because after about five minutes, they start to get cold. So I'm gonna put this one on. I'm gonna use my 
handy dandy beard guard to hold it in place. Put this on, put the beard guard on to hold it in place, and then wait five minutes and change it out. So as you can see, I have my beard guard on holding this on. So we're gonna keep this on for five minutes and then I'm gonna swap it out for the pink one. Let that sit for five minutes, five minutes, and then I'm gonna take it off and rinse out my beard. Okay, so five minutes have passed. I can feel my washcloth getting a little cool. So what you do is you you are just gonna, I mean, you could just re-wet that one if you want. I just like throwing and having another one that's been sitting in the warm water. And as far as warm water, like you don't want boiling water. Um, you know, I say 100 degrees or so, but if I were to put it into a number, I would just say as hot, hot as your water goes out of the faucet would be sufficient. So now I'm gonna throw this one on uh, for uh, another five minutes. Now again, when you come to temperature of the water, don't make it too hot that you burn yourself, but I don't know, you know, my water doesn't get hot enough to burn my skin. So a little advice, just lay your beard guard down on the table and then put your washcloth in it. That seems to help uh, me get it on my beard better. You're trying to, you only got two hands and you're trying to put two things on your face and around your beard. So I'm just laying the washcloth in the beard guard. It'll look something like that once it's inside. I'll pick the beard guard up, put it up to my face. You want to make sure to get all of your beard in there and that the washcloth is pressing up on the bottom of your beard. And it really feels just nice and warm and relaxing. So now I'll pull this up. Can't really talk with it on. And we'll wait another five minutes. Okay, so the five minutes is up. We're going to pull this off. Your beard's going to be warm and... A little bit crazy most likely but that's okay so now that you have your pores all opened the oil is sunk in it's getting into your hair you need to seal it in so the way we're gonna seal it in is we're gonna go get cold water our pores from the hot water they're open nice and wide and what that cold water is gonna do is it's gonna hit them and it's gonna shrink them down and it's gonna lock in that moisture that we just spent 10 minutes putting in our beard so I'm gonna go wash my beard and put a conditioner in it as well. So I'm gonna co-wash it since we stripped it out with that pine tar. I'm gonna go co-wash it with cold water. So I will be right back with a washed and co-washed moisturized beard. All right, so I am back. I co-washed, let the co-wash sit in there for five minutes and then rinsed it out with cold water. It kind of gets you a little woken up but at the same time, it's closing down those pores and locking in that moisture. So this is what I'm like right after a, a co-wash out of the shower. I just pat it dry with the towel and put a little bit of beard oil in. I'm going to let that sit while I finish this video. And then I will go style and put balm in for the day. Now, with this, a few things. It's healthy. I do it uh, once a week or so. I try to make it on my Sunday routine um, before I start with a new company. Um, get that beard kind of reset and moisturized. Um, and it gives me an accurate feeling of how that week is going to go. I think it's beneficial for me, at least. My beard tends to dry out and get a little frizzy and, and things like that in the summertime. So... What I do is this hot oil treatment. This is also very beneficial in the winter time too when you have that forced heat air in your house, that dry air of the fall and winter, that cold dry air. So anytime really, I let's see, about six weeks I've been doing this and I've noticed improvements with the way my beard styles because the hair is a lot uh, healthier, smoother, uh, doesn't have as many tangles in it ever. It's actually, I feel like, getting a little bit straighter. I don't think you can really tell, but it's just getting a lot easier to style. And your hair becomes very soft and, and nice when you do a hot oil treatment. So I recommend to all you guys out there, get a pot, fill it up with hot water, put some beard oil in the bottle, in the pot, and let it warm up. Take 
twice as much as you would normally do, rub it into your skin, put a hot towel on there, and this can just be relaxing. Lay on the couch, watch a TV show with your head back and the towel on your beard, change it out after five minutes, do that two, three, four times, however many times you want, because it just feels good and relaxing. Um, and then go ahead and wash your beard uh, with cold water and a co-wash. This is gonna kinda get everything locked in there, the moisture, and you're gonna feel great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button if you like this content. Hit the thumbs up and the bell so all your devices go off when I upload a new video or go live. If you've been here before, thank you. I appreciate you watching this video. Comment below if you've ever done a hot oil treatment on your beard or if you'd be interested in doing it. As always, you can reach out to me anytime you want. My Instagram link is below. I can walk you through the process. I can give you more details on how it feels for me and give you some recommendations on oils that are good to use for it. So comment below if you've done this before, if not, and then share this video with a friend or a beardo or a woman who just might benefit from a hot oil treatment. If you want a nice, long, full beard, you gotta care for it. So this is step one of the one week, one day a week process to help get your beard stronger, moisturized, and just overall feeling better. And it's a good little relaxing time. So thank you guys for watching. Comment below, share this video, and always, as always, grab your coffee, grab your bang, stroke your moisturized man mane, and God bless you all.